In this video I'm going to be discussing a uh, wire obstacle. I'm going to be discussing Tanglefoot. Now this is something that used to be found a lot around perimeters of fire bases and base camps, especially in Vietnam. Now from the photos and drawings I've seen from the Vietnam era, you typically around your camps would have two fences of concertina wire and separate the separation between those two fences was possibly 20 to 50 meters now that space between those two fences was not left just open they would put in tangle foot and they would also put in anti-personnel mines typically uh, bounding fragmentation tripwire activated bounding fragmentation mines now tangle foot is basically posts this is from the top this is from the front posts or pickets put in at random locations to fill an area random as to where they're at in the distance from the one next to it and so forth then you would start stringing barbed wire between the posts now the guidance on it was the wire was supposed to be put in from between ankle to knee high you didn't want it too high because then someone could crawl underneath it. You didn't want it too low because then someone can, can just easily step over the top of it. So you're supposed to do random heights and also random directions. You wouldn't necessarily go to the picket that's right next to it. You may go to the picket that's past it. Or you may take the barbed wire tie it off in the center or somewhere on another length of barbed wire using a barbed wire tie something that i hope to show you this summer is how to do different types of uh, barbed wire ties but i got to set stuff up for it but uh you'd tie it off on the barbed wire and then run it to a post or run it to another length of barbed wire do another wire tie then off to a post or whatever you basically made a giant spider web or a giant mess of barbed wire so that anyone trying to run through is not going to be able to they're going to get tripped up somewhere along the way so now something that uh, brought this to uh, onto my list for videos for doing for this winter this was mentioned by uh, Coco Brownie one of the subscribers here on YouTube when we were talking about uh, countering helicopter assaults. He lives in Germany and something he came across was a tactic done by the German Bundeswehr, the German army during the Cold War for countering air assaults or helleborne assaults into West Germany. They would have the LZ that would be left open so the helicopters could land. And then around the perimeter of that LZ they would put in posts or pickets and they would string barbed wire between it as tanglefoot. Now it should be in that case hidden inside the grass, tall grass around the edges of the LZ. As the troops would dismount the helicopters, they would start to deploy, they would run to get off of the LZs to get away from any potential strikes from indirect fires like mortars or artillery. Well, as they're running, they would start hitting this tangle foot and they would get knocked over. Which would then allow any defenders in the area time to get a more accurate shot in on them. Now for materials for putting this in. The posts can be wooden posts. They can be metal fence posts like T posts. They can be U-shaped pickets. They could even be uh, pieces of rebar, whatever is available. And then it's just barbed wire typically strung between those posts. I have come across uh, stuff. I think the author is John Poole. The book was called The Last 100 Yards. It's about the uh, non-commissioned officer's role in small unit tactics on the battlefield. One of the things he had in there was a way to stop 
your enemy from escaping an ambush site. You would be uh, hidden in, uh, off on the side of the trail while between you and the trail string some communications wire, some telephone wire at like Tanglefoot between trees or posts or bushes, you know, hidden in front of you as your enemy would counter your ambush, toss grenades and try charging into you, they would start hitting those phone wires and fall down trip right in front of you and then as they're getting up it allows you to get in a shot on them more accurately to take them out to keep them trapped in an ambush so according to u.s doctrine you know tanglefoot is considered kind of obsolete now but it still has its place and i fully expect to see it employed around forward operating bases should some type of conflict occur here in North America. So, but as I just pointed out, it's also can be adapted for other purposes like sub adding to your ambushes to slow your enemy, keep them in your kill zone, use them to try to keep enemy from de deploying off of helicopter LZs to assault you and so forth. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot Militia Movements, always remember Essayons.